It's early morning at Wellfleet's weekly farmer's market, an Outer Cape institution. And today, like most days when the market is open, Chef Michael Seraldi is on the prowl. Bitter melon. Seraldi, like many people here, is shopping for dinner. But unlike most shoppers, his dinner is a seven-course tasting menu prepared for 50-plus guests at his Harborside restaurant. I'm the chef and partner at Seraldi Restaurant, partner with Jesse Seraldi, mother of my children, amazing artist, and the best wife. When I go to the farmer's market, I'm not necessarily looking for something specific. I go to see what these farmers have, because the farmers out here, all their farms are really small. But I will take not all your beets, I'll leave a beet. We change our menu every day so that we can best utilize exactly what these farmers have. But there's always some unexpected ingredients at the farmer's market. These are finger limes. It's like caviar of the citrus world. Whatever challenges Seraldi faces, not knowing exactly what he's going to get, is offset by the idea he's basically working with family. Do you want to drop those off later with the cheese selection? Yes. We've been doing this for a decade, so when buying from these farmers, they know us, they know we're coming, they know they're going to set some things aside. They're all friends and family. Back at the restaurant, it becomes clear connecting with the local community extends well beyond the food they serve. Our restaurant's design is a collaboration between Jesse and I, down to the candles. We have, they're made in Orleans at Honey Candle Company. We have the cow skull hanging above the bar, and that skull comes from Seawin Meadows Farm, which is where we get our beef from. Yes, this cow was raised locally and served here. Supporting local people economically is a uh, passion and what really drives the restaurant. As Seraldi transforms his ingredients and begins work on the evening's menu, there is one thing you can count on. We always start with oysters. They're always from Logie Bay, and they're always from Lucky Lips Oyster Grant within that bay. Welcome to Logie Bay, where Lucky Lips oysters are grown and harvested by husband and wife combo Jason Weissman and Elizabeth Salen. I think oysters are more than a food. There is an experience that uh, vitality that you have when you eat a raw oyster that is no comparison, maybe other than jumping in the ocean first time of the day. The couple had their first date here, but had no idea three kids later, this would be the spot they farmed together. I never had any plans to be an oysterman and be working with my wife every day, but that is what I do and it's better than I could have planned for. This area has been producing award-winning oysters naturally since the 1800s. Today, growers differentiate themselves with practice techniques to shape their own signature Wellfleet oyster. That's our Lucky Lips oyster. That's what Seraldi likes, this small little deep cup, little nugget. I think Michael puts about three of these on a plate, and then he can kind of play with the different flavors. That's why I do this every day. It's 5.15 back at Seraldi's restaurant, and as guests are seated, Michael and his team shuck and prepare their first course. Everyone sits at the same time, and then basically I'll get up and give a, a brief presentation of the menu. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the restaurant. My name is... His menu descriptions could be called Outer Cape 101, as they always include nods to the farmers who harvest the ingredients and how each is connected to this specific community. Speaking of caviar, Black River Caviar Company is not located on the Cape, but it is owned by a family from Osterville. Food is one of the ways that you experience place, and so coming to Seraldi is one of the ways that we learn about the place that we live and learn how to enjoy all of these beautiful surroundings and, and the fruits of the earth that are created here. I've always thought of my job as being a conduit between the farms and the humans that want to eat that food. So hopefully that they go back to the farms and buy food for themselves, or they can come back here and buy it. That's totally fine. Wow, that Wellfleet uh, Farmer's Market happens on Wednesdays into the fall. And when the market is not open, Chef Seraldi will even make house calls. He goes to many of the same local farms for the ingredients, and he'll even pick some right off of the vine. <laughs> so it is truly farm fest. It absolutely is. Still ahead, a life-changing meal.